Oh, there we go. Oh, shit. Now our background's gone. Oh, Lord. Here we fucking go. It's not. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Hello and welcome, everybody. We're having technical difficulties. Yay! When aren't we? And I'm sorry that I currently look like a goddamn hobbit, but I'm fucking cold and I don't want to put a coat on and I'm wearing a blanket. Shut up. Hi, guys. Hello. So, today is a special um, theme video. That is very close to our hearts. Yes. And our organs. <laughs> Have we? This is a side note, and this is very unprofessional, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. Have we released the favorite TV show video yet? Uh, well, son of a bitch, I don't know. Okay, uh, well, I I it, think I put out our favorite things part one, two, and maybe three. So if oh, TV shows was in the first or second one, then I haven't done the edits on two or three. Shit. Okay, oh, shit. well. If, if you guys are seeing, if you guys are seeing, if you guys, if you guys are watching this, um, my apologies. Uh, I we don't know if we have some scheduling issues. Yeah, we have some scheduling issues because we're not partnered with YouTube. We cannot schedule videos to roll out. So that means I have to do all the editing on the annotations and the descriptions after the video is released. After um, I upload them because. For one thing, I'm the one who has to upload them because my internet's better, and for another, I can't edit to save me. <laughs> yeah, so, um... Oh, uh, real quick, in one of the previous videos, I think it was one where... Oh, wait, no, was I talking to you about it? I think I was talking to you about it. I received a birthday gift from my boyfriend, and it is Pippina! So oh, yeah! You haven't shown our lovely viewers that. You mentioned it in one of the videos, but, um, and I will try to figure out Whoa, which video it was. Um, anyway, so, Anyways. in one of our favorite things videos, if it's already been uploaded, then I'll link to it in this video when I edit it. If not, we're poorly um, organized. <laughs> yeah, if not, look for that. Anyway, um, one of our favorite shows is NBC's Hannibal, which, sadly, it just recently came out that it has been canceled. canceled. Like one of our other favorite shows, Constantine. Actually, I think we talked about that in the exact same video. Yes, yeah. Yes, so, we if, did. so if it's already been posted, you'll know this already. So, yeah. apologies for the recap. Anyway, recaps are good sometimes, unless you're binge watching something. <laughs> so, um, Netflix yeah. is my friend of me. Hannibal is one of our favorites, and there's a campaign going around. Um, to save it. To save it. Called hashtag save Hannibal. And it's going around on Twitter, on Tumblr. On in fact, Facebook, even. In fact, there's a contest going around on Tumblr, which this video will be entered in. Um, oh, really? For save Hannibal. Which basically is any kind of content. Please. Fan art. Um, any kind of fan art. Any kind of videos. Any kind of anything. Even cosplay. Um, you, you just... Post it on Tumblr and you tag it with Save Hannibal, or you can um, add the creator of the thing on Twitter, which I think I'll have to find it. Yeah. I added them, um, and I'll link that up in, in the in the description. Once we do um, the editing. <laughs> once we do the editing, um, and that way you can be entered because the idea is to get as much information and as much hype going about save Hannibal as possible so that we can get Hannibal shop to another network um possibly some of the networks that I've been seeing rolling around maybe HBO H um, <laughs> HBO would be real damn good or Showtime, Showtime. yeah possibly HBO or Showtime Actually, yeah HBO lots of skin they're kind of um Shopping it around anyway, and that would actually be a perfect venue for it because of how graphic it is. Um, Netflix hey, hey, is also skin. Netflix is also one that they have mentioned. I, um, I would like seeing it on Netflix. Netflix is actually pretty decent. Although Netflix has been editing itself a lot lately and changing things around, and the interface with it has just gotten kind of hectic. I'm not gonna lie. Um. So yeah, that that's the current state of things. Now we just. I didn't do this video, 
about what a week ago, I would say. Um, the same so Hannibal video. Depending on when it's been put. No, this not even a week, dude. Like two, three, four oh. days ago, Matt. Four max. A couple of days before this was recorded. We'll just put it that way. Yes. Um, <laughs> it may be a while before this is posted, but I'm gonna try to get it posted. Well, I'd like to get this one posted as soon as possible while the campaign's still going. I could honestly, um, I could probably post it tonight after we finish recording. Um, anyhow, so, basically... NBC's Hannibal um, is a fantastic show, and if you don't know the story of Hannibal Lecter, where have you been living? How old are you? You're probably too young yeah. to actually watch the show. And if you haven't, if you haven't read the books... Or watch the movies with Anthony Hopkins. The show is actually a perfect way to get you into the Whole series. Hannibal. Because the casting is fucking amazing. Um, I definitely agree. I will say Hannibal Rising is actually pretty good, even though it didn't get a lot of good reviews. I found yeah, the book and good. the movie to both be quite good. Gaspard O'Leal was fantastic as Hannibal, as a young Hannibal. If you, if you have read the books... Or are familiar with the series, but you haven't watched the show yet. There is something you should know. Um, it starts before the series starts, in as far as like movies and books Think go. Think along the lines of the Red Dragons. Actually, the first, the first season predates even that, mm -hmm. um, according to the showrunner. So basically, Can you, you get to see. <laughs> You basically get to see Hannibal Lecter before he gets caught, for one thing. Um, and pretty much, you know, you get to see this really fantastic um, chemistry and interaction between him and Will Graham, who is the quote-unquote hero of the story for at least a little while. Um, and that relationship alone is enough to... Seriously, watch the show because it's fucking amazing. It, um, and it is definitely spurred on quite a grand amount of fan fiction, fan art, whatever you want to call yeah. it. It's... Hannibal will Hannibal will shippers are fucking everywhere. I'm everywhere. one, and this this leads to I, I'm one. <laughs> this leads to my next point. We have a shout out today, actually. Yes, we do. <laughs> because one of my well, I'm, I'm going to call her my friend because she's fucking amazing. Um, one of my most favoritest Hannibal blogs on Tumblr um, is run by a lovely woman, and I'm probably going to butcher the screen name of it, um, M. Resendance, who runs the Twinkie Empath, oh. um, Twinkie Empath blog. Oh, Lord, and... She's fucking amazing, and she does a really great fanfic series on her blog and on Archive of Our Own. Um, basically... I'm sorry, I'm a terrible person. I know I'm combing my hair right now, but my bangs were bothering me. Basically, it's an alternate version of events for the series revolving around Hannibal and Will and other characters sort of thrown in and circulated it's a really fantastic story and the, i'm also going to just tell say congratulations because she won the best fan fiction nbc hannibal blog award for the best um will graham blog. that's amazing and she got third in the best fan fiction category wow so seriously i'm going to link her up in the description, I'll That's probably add. A, I'll probably add a notation in there too, um, because she's awesome, and I think you guys should go read her. And she actually um, advertised for us on Tumblr today. Which I'm, I want to thank you so much. Thank you. You are awesome. You're amazing, and I'm definitely gonna check out your writing. Yeah, I'm totally excited about it. I'm. I kind of freaked out a little bit in my chair earlier because. <laughs> She basically reblogged an announcement on, on my Tumblr, which I haven't linked up yet, which I'll link up. It's kind of a, just a kind of a stream of consciousness thing mm -hmm. where I just reblog whatever's on my mind. But anyway, thank you my so much. Thank you so much for reblogging thank and you. helping announce uh, or uh, spread the word about us. Um, and if you 
are somebody that follows her that has come to watch the videos. Welcome. Uh, um, hello! And we're weird. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. <laughs> it's we're okay. weird. And it's still a work in progress. We're still new at this, but... Um, we're learning! <laughs> also, great. um... I should do a quick shout out. I'm sorry if I'm interrupting. If you're not finished, I should do a quick shout out to our friend Clutch, aka Victor. At Clutch, it might be at his Clutch reverse Hang on. backwards. I'll, please, I'll find it. Please do. We will link that in the video below. Um, I want to say a huge thank you to him because he, in fact, decided to just for the hell of it make us a new background, which is what you see now. Which with tell our us names underneath it. Yay! Which, if you like it, let us know in the comments. If you don't like it, let, let us, us know in the comments. If, um, you if, have, you... if you have anything you want to contribute, or maybe, you know, give us, hey, let us know. We'll give you a shout-out. We kind of want to build this channel around what you guys like and what you guys want to see. While and... still telling the truth and what we feel needs to be said. Right. Um, We'd like to have a community with you guys. Right, exactly. You just understand that I will never give you my Skype because I can't handle that shit. No. Um, and if it comes to it where we decide to do some sort of giveaway or something, or like a meet, meet up like on Skype with us, it'll be like a separate account or something. I don't know. Yeah, we can um, make a shared account, Skype account. Yeah, we could do something like There's that. There's an itch on my back. Oh, God. Uh, Did I ever actually finish shouting him out? I don't know. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, sorry. Clutch, thank you so much. You're awesome. You're super cool, and you're also super kick-ass at yeah. Diablo 3. And making cool, cute little fucking backgrounds for us. Thank God, you. it's been a while since I did Diablo 3. I know! I do that again. We should. I think I missed this entire whole season. I definitely um, have missed, like, the past two seasons, I'm not gonna lie. And I need to trim my bangs, oh dear God. Speaking of seasons, um, let me circle back to the original. Yes. Hannibal! If you're here because you saw the post on Tumblr, um, either through M Resin Dance or through me, welcome. Um, and I'm really glad that a mutual love of Hannibal brought you here. Definitely. Because the show is fucking amazing, and Dude. I would nerd about it all day long if I could. <laughs> Which, we've still got quite a lot of time. We're only 12 minutes in. Really? Wow. So let's geek out about Hannibal. What are your top three favorite episodes? Um, that's a hard one. Oh, I know. I would have to say, well, are you talking story speak, like story wise, or Teach like show. visually wise? Like, um, take your pick. Visually, I really like the way the season premiere for season three was done. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch it all the way through yet. But the visuals and stuff for it are absolutely fantastic. Um, I am actually quite a terrible person, and I'm going to be completely honest and let you guys know that I have not gotten to actually finish watching the entire Hannibal series from start to finish. I only got to see the first few episodes, and then life happened, and I never really got to catch up. Well, it's not done yet, and I'm sure that when this season um, is over. I think the first two seasons may be on Netflix. I think that's where I'm watching it. Um, and I'm sure when the third season comes out, they'll probably put it on too. Especially if it becomes a Netflix series, which, fingers crossed, I hope it does. Um, I hope it does as well. One which, show that I wish they would get rid of is House of Cards. I really can't stand it. Yeah. I find that to be a really obnoxious show. But anyways, back to Hannibal. And, and this could devolve into a, like, shows we hate thing. But, um, Hannibal, see, and the thing is, it's up to us, it's up to everybody, the fans, to make sure that it goes to another network. Because if they don't see how much we want it, it's not going to happen. Um, so, yeah, uh, I mean... You have to look at it realistically as well, because look what happened with Constantine. Well, yeah, but you've also got to think about, yes... Constantine had a following and it wasn't enough to save it. But critically, Constantine didn't do as well as Hannibal did either. This is true. Because, last I checked, Hannibal had a 100% rating on Rotten Tomatoes, which never happens. That just never saying. happens. Um, that fucking never happens. So, yeah, I mean, if that's not enough to at least warrant to watch, what the fuck is? Like, really? 
Um, what I don't understand is what is NBC thinking? Do they not want ratings? I mean, do they not want views? Do they not want money? Because really, well, if, see, if you're getting rid of all of these shows that people actively watch, and uh, in particular, a show that gets a hundred percent rating on a known website that usually hates everything. <laughs> yeah, what I are think. You thinking? I think part of the problem is NBC has had a hard time lately with time slots. They put really good shows up against shows that perform way better in ratings. Mm -hmm. And they expect them to draw these people away. That's not how it works. It really there's, there's plenty of days of the week that don't have nearly enough good shows on them. Like Saturday. There's nothing oh. on on Saturdays. There's fucking nothing on on Saturdays. Put something on there. But instead, they make these shows complete and th compete, and then they get canceled because they don't yeah. get enough ratings. That's Regardless, like, um, if you want people to watch a show, put it on at a time where there's nothing else on, and then you're definitely gonna get some. Uh, you're, you're gonna get for one thing, you're gonna get people watching it just to see. Hey, what the fuck is this? There's actually something to watch. Well, and that's like a lot of people had a problem with the gore in Hannibal. It's Hannibal. Yeah, that's exactly what and you're... honestly, the people, the producer, or not the producers, but the, I guess the producers, NBC, should have been prepared for this kind of thing. It's fucking Hannibal. These people Which... had to have known what the show had was going to be about, considering Hannibal Lecter is a goddamn cannibal. Which, NBC, I'm just... get your shit together. Which I'm just gonna say, I was surprised they put it on NBC to begin with. I, I agree, definitely. I honestly thought it was gonna um, be because, muted in, like... Because, like, network television... Network television has never been one for graphic, dark stories like this. No, they'd um, rather put on teen vampires and... Jane the Virgin. The fuck is that? You, you haven't heard this craze? Apparently people love it, and I'm like, no. I have no interest whatsoever. It's about a woman who is a virgin, but she accidentally gets artificially inseminated and winds up pregnant. How do you accidentally get artificially inseminated? I, I, I'm not, I I'm not fucking dealing with... Mm, I'm gonna stick I, I with my fucking weird-ass people eating Sup people. Eat the rude, Sup eat the rude. Yo. Supp supposedly it's a hit and people like it. And if you do like it, and, um, you know, you just... You like it? Okay, that's fine. That's your, that's your thing. I'm not gonna watch it. I'm not gonna watch it. Just like I'm not gonna watch Attack on Titan or anything. I don't like Attack on Titan because of the art style, honestly. And I'm not talking about the art style of the Titans. I think they look gross and freakish and that's cool. But the characters, the regular characters, day to day, I don't know. I, there's something about the show that just puts me off. But anyways... Also, a slight apology if my eyes look funky or if I look half asleep. I'm not. My eyes are just really dry lately, and I have eye drops. It's just that they're in my bedroom, because I usually put them in right when I wake up. So, I'm sorry if I look tired. I'm not. Um. Lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah. No, it's okay. It wasn't, it wasn't you that threw me off. Um. Mm. Oh. So basically, you know, I was surprised it went on network television. Right, yeah. Um, but maybe this is a good thing. Maybe they can get to a, like, Netflix or another network that will... Do, Be you know... To handle them? To more faithfully, um... Handle it, I guess. Right. Um, because the show is fantastic. It really and is, and it's very tasteful, honestly. It is. And... While it can get creepy as far as, like, the psychological aspects of it. Which, I mean, if you think about it, that's what the series involves. It's what it entails. It's going to be creepy. It, it has to be. Otherwise, it's not Hannibal. It's not proper to that, and, you know, genre. And if Netflix picks it up, it would probably be more accessible. Because people could watch it all at once instead of breaking it up week by week. Which, honestly, I find that having to wait for shows is... A massive pain in the ass. It's a time scheduling conflict from hell. 
yeah, I have to like schedule all my shows because I watch a lot of TV. And honestly, um, honestly, I know that I could possibly, probably get my boyfriend to watch it if it was on Netflix. Just saying, Netflix, we heart you, heart. I'm actually being yeah. stupid and making the heart sign with my hands. <sighs> I love it, Netflix, honestly. And if Hannibal did end up becoming a show, a Netflix original, quote unquote, I would binge watch it and I would repeatedly watch it because, for one thing, Mads Mickelson is fucking gorgeous. For another, so uh, is Hugh Dancy. There you yeah. go, Hugh Dancy. I couldn't remember his name. Hugh Dancy is quite an attractive man as well. And I'm not going to lie, one of my favorite episodes from the season, first season is when he his bed fills with like water and it's supposed to be steaming and everything and the way he writhes around on the bed <laughs> yeah that is different and i found out a bit of info during that scene when he's writhing around and actually crying out the way he does it's because he's actually getting burned skull like something happened and the scolding water ends up actually being scolding water that floods the bed he's in Oh, shit. But he kept going and finished the scene, even though he was basically being roasted. Or boiled, that, rather. That's acting. That's, that's good, acting. That's, that's fucking good acting. determination. And see, this is back where I say, you know, it's up to the fans. Because, you know, maybe Netflix will see this video. I hope so. I hope so. Um, hey, Netflix, partner us. Not really. Or, <laughs> or, or maybe Netflix will see, you know... See, so many spam or, you know? Yeah, or even all the tweets on Twitter. I've been posting a couple every so often I when too. I think about it. Um, when I first found I, out that Hannibal got cancelled, I was tweeting it like a motherfucker. Like, save Hannibal, save Hannibal. Hashtag save Hannibal. Because seriously, fucking save Hannibal. We want it. To a degree, we need it. We're tired of all these stupid reality shows and amazing races and whatnot. When they're not really amazing, they're just a lot of people whining all the time. I don't care about their brother. And they're not really reality either. It's all filmed and it's all staged, and we can fucking tell. Now, now, Big Brother, that's a whole other story. Big that brother is reality. Freaks me out. But it's weird. That's too weird. And I'm sorry, yeah. I don't want to see another fashion show. I don't want to see. Unless you want to fucking like go big and go big and balls to the wall, balls out with the fucking amazingnesses, amazingness that is RuPaul's Drag Race. I don't want to fucking see another reality show. I don't want to see say yes to the dress because I don't want to see some bitches going fucking bridezilla because you know what? They're paid to act like that. At least if, if you want to fucking see good paid acting, watch Hannibal. Watch yeah. Constantine. Well, Constantine's a little bit cheesy, but it was new. And there, and, and, and for those of you who want to see, those of you who want to see, you know, strong female characters, there's strong female characters in Hannibal. There is. You don't see them as much in the beginning of the first season, but they're all through, like, the, the end of the first season and the second season, and, you know, it's fucking great. It's just a great show. Plus, hello. You get to see the guy who played Morpheus. Yeah, uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Fishburne. Yeah, Lawrence Fishburne. Um, and you also get to see Julian Anderson, who became famous from the X-Files as oh. Hannibal's therapist. Um, Wait, awesome when, does ba- when does Hannibal get a therapist? Spoilers! Spoilers! Oh, shit. Um, she, you see her in the first season. Do you? Um, okay. You're probably just not far enough in. Probably not. Um, and, and she she does really well with that that role. Um, I I go ahead. You don't really get to like learn too much about her character in the first two seasons, but apparently we're gonna learn a lot more about her this season. Cool. Um, I, I think one thing one thing that really drew me to Hannibal, a, aside from the fact that I I've always been into the Hannibal series, I've always found the grotesqueness of it to have a certain beauty to it, a certain high level of artistic value. Yeah. Red Dragon, the Red Dragon movie with Edward Norton and and then Baltimore some motherfucking dude. Oh, I I don't even know who played Baltimore. You don't? Uh, How do you not know that? I know who it is. I just can't fucking remember his name at this point in time. I know the guy's face, but I don't know his name. Hold on, hold I'm on. terrible with names. Yeah, never mind. I'm hearing things. Damn me. 
Um. What? I'm on blank. I thought I heard my boyfriend calling for me. Okay. So, um. Oops. He played yeah. in Schindler's List, not Liam Neeson, but the other dude. Oh, um. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna look this shit up. Look it up, look it up, look it up. While I'm doing this. Oh shit, we're at 25 minutes. Shit. I'm sure. Okay, we're gonna. If you're still here with us, we're gonna push to 30 so we can finish this stuff. Yeah, so basically, um. To Google. <laughs> Ra Ralph Fiennes. Ralph Fiennes. It's Fiennes. Or Fiennes. However we say it. I'm telling you how it's been spoken by he himself, okay? <laughs> Ralph Fiennes, okay. Um, played... Who did he play? He put in Red Dragon, he played the, uh, villain. Oh, uh, Dollar Hide? Is that right? I don't know, I don't remember. I Look, I watched, honestly, I watched Red Dragon so fucking long ago that I yeah, didn't even know he too. actually got a name. Um, basically the point of that <laughs> tangent... There was a point? <laughs> yeah. The point of that tangent is just like the movies are very well done and well oh, actually no, done. Oh, no, no, no. What my point was is that whilst Red Dragon didn't have as much of an artisticness to it as the rest of it does, well, it, but it was still tasteful. It was still good. It wasn't just senseless blah, 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 and explosions and fucking things. It, you know, mattered, and there was a basis to everything. And it was good, and it was decent, and it was well thought out and well planned, unlike most of our videos! <laughs> and what I was going to say was that, um, the show is artfully done. Mm, it is very tasteful. They, they actually consult with a, um, a guy that studied cannibals to make, to <laughs> help with some of the dishes that Hannibal makes. Mm. Um, That's... They also have a culinary specialist for the actual food. That's not like you know, person um, that he makes. Um, mm. The show is just super well done. It's just fantastic. And really if and if you haven't watched it yet, um, what are you waiting for? Really? What are you it's waiting getting, for? you know, either way. I mean, it's getting canceled. So if it gets picked up again, then you'll get to see you know you'll have what you missed. Time to watch. Yeah, you'll have plenty of time to watch what you missed. And if not, then you'll get to see the whole thing in its entirety when the third season ends. Um, but, you know what? We're not even going to say that it's not going to get renewed on another network, because we're going to be optimistic. Netflix, please! Um, we love you! <laughs> or, you know, any any network. If you see it, HBO. and you like it, you know, HBO. HBO, Showtime, if you like it, and you want to, you know, adapt it, and, yeah. you know, keep the same cast, you know, Please, for the love of fuck, keep yeah. the same fucking cast. Because if you replace Mads Mikkelsen, I'm gonna rage. And so yeah. will a whole lot of people. Do you really want to piss off fangirls and boys and grown-ass adults who have the ability to write letters of indignation to you? Really? I mean, seriously. Seriously. And, and you know... Mads Mikkelsen does not get enough love. Yeah, he doesn't. He's fucking amazing. In America, um, anyways. And... And so, yeah, you know, if if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it. If you have seen it and you love it like we do... Let the help, world know! Yeah, let the world know. Help with the Save Hannibal tag. If you want to, you know, do try your hand at, you know, painting your nails to look like Hannibal's face, that's cool. I mean, if you could do that... That would freak that me the fuck out. That'd be fucking amazing. Um, and, if, and, I know, and I know some people that could probably do that. Right. Um, and if you do that, you know... Take a picture of it, post it on Tumblr, and, you know, use the hashtag Save Hannibal, or post it on Twitter, or just please spread the word. Help yes, us keep the this word. show, help us keep the show alive, because it's Help us keep the show alive. Amazing. Keep the same actors, and get this shit fucking saved. It's amazing. And, I'm also just, since we're going to wrap this up, I'm assuming we're getting close to Yeah, we're day. at 29, um, we love all you guys. Thank you, M Resonance, for the shout out. Thank, Thank you, Clutch, for the um, background. We, we love, love all faces. of you guys. Comment and tell us what you want to see. And tell subscribe. us, you know. Yeah, <laughs> and subscribe. Subscribe to us. What are you waiting it's for? It's free. It's yeah, not that it hard. It's one click away. 
<laughs> what is that face you made? I, 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 don't <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ending the recording. Bye! Subscribe!